morning, YouTube. Here we are at it again, throwing an autopilot, full self-drive, version 10.3 beta test. As you can see, it's creeping forward. A little bit odd, a little bit too far from the stop sign, but that's okay. I'm gonna try to do no intervention today and see how it goes. see a car coming so let's see hopefully I don't have to intervene all right it saw that that car is turning just checking for visibility awesome I didn't have to intervene this time so okay it corrected itself that time a lot better yesterday if you remember it didn't see from the blind and it didn't check good enough and if I wouldn't have stopped it might have t-boned so I sped up and went out and uh, it did fine. I left it in uh, full self-drive, but I had to give it a little boost. Today I'm letting it do everything on its own. Um, 
but it noticed that I was looking away from the, uh, the road and looking at the screen for a moment to explain, and it, it alerted me. So if you didn't see that, you might have to rewind it, but you'll see my hand was kind of in the way, but it didn't do an alert. Coming up here is a, a turn, and normally in regular autopilot, it always did fine on uh, on and off ramps. But for some reason, uh, this turn going towards Fox Lake, uh, exit 136, uh, it used to not ever make this turn. I had to stop and uh, kick it out of autopilot and turn myself, but now it does it no problem. So kind of glad that that is fixed uh, with the full self drive, and I'm glad it actually does it. So. And this is sometimes a busy intersection today. It looks kind of quiet, but let's see how it does. It should kind of creep out and then turn. Did very good. And it's got to change lines again. Nice. This is a thing I don't understand. It, if you saw that, it uh, went into the right lane as if it was turning, and it wouldn't get back over like it was going to make that turn, so uh, I had to intervene there. <clears throat> so again, good thing to have your hand on the wheel, make sure you're paying attention. Probably didn't help that I was moving food up here. For the most part, uh, the straight driving is what it used to be. Uh, other than the graphics are a little bit better, it sees better. Um, the phantom starts and stops, or the slowdowns. Um, yesterday on my drive home, uh, from work, it was, I think maybe happened only once, so I think that feature is getting better. Again, I don't know if it's learning or me uh, sending the stuff to Tesla and they're automatically correcting, but I figured if they had to correct it, it would come out in a, another uh, over-the-air update later, not like instantly. So, in my opinion, I think the car is kind of just learning.
question I ask everybody. Uh, obviously, you know I have cars that run on ethanol. I love ethanol. It's kind of my job. Uh, this is a little bit unique for me, so it's different. But I have another car that I'll be eventually uh, filming, and it's kind of uh, best of both worlds. Um, it'll be interesting to show you guys. I'll probably start it off with a uh, zero to sixty and a quarter mile. Uh, it is not a Tesla, but uh, and it is not a uh, full electric car or an EV. But uh, it is definitely unique. Um, so I'll be excited to show you guys that here uh, in the next few days. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about!